Hi, and welcome back for more math mini lessons. My name is Sarah Fuentes, and I'm a math instructional coach in New York City. And today we're going to talk about array models and using them to multiply monomials, binomials, and polynomials. So what's an array? Arrays are just models that are really helpful when organizing numbers and I use them with multiplying a lot of times. So when I start with arrays with younger kids, I start with simple multiplication and sometimes I use them with decomposition. So for example, I can multiply five and I could take 14 and kind of decompose that into two smaller numbers I can hold on to in my head and multiply in each square. So for here, for this one, I will multiply 5 times 10. So 5 times 10 gives me 50. And on the other side, 5 times 4 gives me a 20. And I'm writing plus 20 because they're both positive. And I can add them up together and get 70. Um, this kind of looks like lattice multiplication. I know a lot of people struggled with lattice, but I like this decomposition where I could take this number and just break it into really friendly numbers I can hold on to in my head. And as kids get older, I can also use this type of model to multiply with multiple terms. So in this case, I have two terms. So I call this a binomial. As you can see, I have two different terms here. And I can do the same thing as before. I'll make a rectangle. And I have one term here on the side. And because I have two terms, I can place this here. And as kids are just starting to learn this, I can show them how the multiplication is just repeat addition. So I can have four sets of three X's. So altogether I have three, six, nine, twelve X. And I can have four sets of two or eight and they're all positive. And as they get older, they don't even need to draw all of it out. Eventually they just know, well, three times four is 12, so 12 X and four times two is eight. And they get the terms right there in the middle, 12 X plus eight. So let's go a little bit more and you can kind of see how as they progress and get older, the terms can become more complicated. And of course, they learn nice methods like distribution. So I can just multiply 5x times 2x, and I'm multiplying my whole numbers first, 10. And x times x is just going to give me an x squared. And y, think of it almost like you have a box. I have no idea what number. I just have two x's, whatever it is. It's going to make a square. So I'm squaring the numbers. And 5x plus times 3, plus 15. And again, I can use an array model to show the same thing, just showing that same structure and organization. Here's 5x, 2x plus 3, 5 times 2 is 10, times x squared, and 5x times 3 is 15. I would love to get into using algebra tiles for actually showing this, but I'm going to do that in a future video because it makes more sense having the tiles than explaining it. But let's look at what we're traditionally taught, which is FOIL. And FOIL, again, is just an acronym which just tells us the steps for doing something. Kind of like PEMDAS is an acronym that tells us the steps. And it just stands for the first numbers, the outsides, the insides, and the last numbers. So someone would just multiply those terms out and you kind of just have to look and arrange it um, and just go, all right, x times x times 2x, 2x squared plus 4x, x times 4 minus 6x minus 12. And for some kids, all of this, the structure of it gets really challenging to keep track of. Some kids can do this in their mind and they prefer this method. Um, but I find that there are also some kids who really appreciate the structure and organiza organization that an array will give them. Um, this isn't actually done because I have to simplify this. I have a 4x and negative 6x. So I know there's going to be some casting out and I'm going to end up with 2x. So I'm just going to finish that out here. 
just so you can kind of just see it. Um, but I can do the same problem using an array. So here I have a binomial times a binomial. And I'm saying that because I have two terms here and two terms here. So I'm going to make a two by two. Over here, x minus three, two x plus four. And again, I'm just multiplying inside. So two x squared minus six x plus four x minus 12. And what I also love about this is I can see my like terms because they tend to be diagonal. Love that. And I can just simplify them as I normally would. Um, so I'm going to bring down my 2x squared, negative 6, a positive 4, so that's going to be a negative 2x, and minus 12. So that's a binomial times a binomial. And this gets super helpful when we start getting more complicated, like a binomial and a trinomial. I have so many polynomials here. Ah, I love it. So I can just think in my head, okay, can you can just kind of imagine I'm multiplying this times this times this, times this, times this, times this. There's so many things going on. Or I can structure in this way. And I'm going to start from my top left, 10 x to the third, because x times x squared x to the third minus 4x squared plus 16x plus 15x squared, positive 3 times negative 2, negative 6x, and a positive 24. And I can see my like terms again. And I know they're alike because they both have x's, and these are alike because they have x squares. So I have 10x to the third, positive 15, negative 4, that's a positive 11x squared, Negative 6 and positive 16, that's a positive 10x plus 24. And look at how simple and easy all my math looks. It's so easy to see. And it's easy for me to catch a mistake and know where I got it. So, for example, I can see, sometimes I can see if a kid uh, forgot the negative sign. I can catch that pretty easily. Or I can look for where the mistake is in my boxes. If a kid wrote a 15 here, I can look to see, well, 2 times 8 is 16. I can catch my mistakes much more easily. And that's really all there are to arrays. I'm going to, in a future video, actually show how, I, how to do this with algebra tiles, um, which I love to do. I just want to be able to do it with the tiles themselves, since I know a lot of people struggle with that. So I hope you found this video useful and it taught you how you can use an array to multiply monomials, binomials, trinomials, polynomials in general. And if you like this video, just share with your friends, share with other students, share with other people in your classes. And as always, if you have questions or comments, just go to that comment section or you can email me at sarah at mathminilessons.com.